It's a Kari, baby. It's a Kari and baby. Let's see. It's funny because I was actually about to do a uh, Who's Your Hidden Enemy. We're going to do that next, though. But let's see. Oh, don't mind me. If I ever, like, whistle. Did I ever tell y'all what I do that for? Did I ever tell you guys? No, probably not. Now, I hope this wasn't your mom. Did y'all mom just do something to you? Girl, I'm so sorry to hear that. Ooh. What did we just tap into? Hold on really quick. Okay. For my viewers watching, wow, there's a feminine here. There's a group here. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be a mother figure or there's an earth sign here. Um, then I saw the three of cups. That's giving me like a group. There's a group here. Somebody could have turned on you or there was like a third party, but it wasn't giving me third party at first. So for some of you guys that might resonate for others, there's like a group here. I keep getting feminines. Okay. There could be like a jealous group here. You guys could also have people that just don't like you or like the fact that you guys are abundant. I see somebody wanting to take your position. Okay. Let's see. It's so funny because I was actually about to stop the video because I was being awkward and then like the messages just, just started coming out so <laughs> you guys are going to see clips of me just being silly but I'm not editing it out because now the messages are coming through. Mm. Wow, it's a lot coming through. Okay, so maybe it's just going to be different scenarios but the karma is going to be similar. So somebody here, there's like a jealous group spreading rumors about you guys. Um, there could be someone spreading rumors at work. Somebody could have lost a job. I'm not getting that for everybody, but there's a lot of people that want what you have. For others, there could be um, rumors that were spread by your mother. There was like an injustice that was done by your mother. Um, for others, dang it, I just lost it. Fuck! I guess it wasn't meant. <laughs> um, but there was something I was about to say. Shit, okay, it wasn't meant. It wasn't meant. I would have remembered. Yeah, I don't know. Mmm. Some of y'all, y'all intuition was telling y'all about this person, warning y'all about what this person was about to do, but it's like, I don't know why I'm picking up on for some of you guys. This might be someone that you, you're, you've you been picking up on that this might be a hidden enemy, but you're not too sure. There's a group of people here. Let's see. Whoever um, is watching this, what did their person do? I keep seeing the Ten of Wands and I keep seeing the Five of Wands. Uh, for me, there could have been competition. Like I said, there's like a competition here. Maybe people constantly put themselves in competition with you. Somebody could have had you in a third party situation, put you in like a weird, real weird situation. I'm also picking up on a family fight here, a family feud. I'm picking up on fucking drama. That's literally what it's giving. It's giving drama. Someone doesn't like the fact that you might have moved away. There's a lot of peace around some of you guys. And it's like, I don't know why they're so mad that you're like at peace. Y'all might have got a position over somebody. There's like rumors here. They're spreading rumors. It's like a group of gossip. There's a lot of gossip. But let me see. This person, what did they do to my people watching this? For my viewers, what happened here? What happened? Okay. What happened here? Who is this magician? Girl, who is this? You know what's so funny? Hold on. That magician card. I normally don't get this all the time, but this is gonna hit for somebody. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm picking up on some darker magic. Someone could have been doing darker magic to separate you. Yeah, to separate you and like your significant other. I have the queen of pentacles here, the magician, and then I have the king of pentacles. There was some type, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting some type of spell work of some sort, but let me see. Ace of Swords keeps wanting to come out. Someone could be an air sign or there was clarity on a situation. Oh, so, there was a separation here, but I feel like there's a third person here that's like really like, I don't know, they button in where they don't need to be. So like, what's really going on here? Why the magician card? Why is this magician card here? Why is the magician card here? Whoever this person is, they could be a Leo. They don't want to be seen. This person could have, um, if they do practice like spiritual work or like spell work, I feel like they've been practicing it for a while. Um, but there's something like they don't want to be seen. That's for somebody. For others. 
Okay, give me more. Some of you guys can be very reserved because it's almost taking me a minute to like get this story out. What's the story? Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords here. What's the story here? Yeah, I just, okay. There are, there's a lot of people here. So I don't know if this is a family situation. I don't know if like, because we got the Queen of Pentacles, we got the King of Pentacles. We got the Magician, the Strength card, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Hanged One. Okay? Someone could have owed somebody some money here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, there could have been like a promise, but someone's not like... I'm hearing old and beggar. That's coming through. Someone could have found out about someone sleeping with their partner. Y'all might have invited this person into the house. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. There's an injustice here of some sort. It could have been a Pisces. But I'm also picking up on like there's a lot of feminines coming through or there's like a lot of energies and I don't know if there was a power struggle or a power trip. I don't know if you guys are constantly having rumors spread on you. There's a lot of gossip, a lot of people trying to bring drama, people trying to get close to you so they can get in your business. Uh, I don't know why I just heard false attitudes, but for me that's like representative of hidden agendas. Alright, let me look at this. I do feel like there was someone here jealous of your connection. Okay. Um, there was an ending here of some sort with something. There could have been someone that kind of like, ooh. Either y'all had someone that stepped out of the relationship or there could have been an energy of like, there was some type of betrayal here, but I feel like this other energy, I feel like y'all know this person or y'all had some type of connection with this person. This per person could have been a friend, but I feel like there was some type of injustice here. What the fuck is going on? There's a lot of people here. Pisces energy coming through here. Capricorn. Libra. Leo, Gemini, Virgo. But let me see. So what did their person do? What did their person do to them? That Ace of Swords keeps coming out. So for me, I don't know how, what happened, but the truth came out about something. So I don't know if y'all found out like someone was already being deceptive. It's like something came out. For some of you guys, someone could have been keeping a secret from you about who's the father, who's not the father. I don't know why that's coming through or who they've been dealing with, who they haven't been dealing with. There was a secret that came out here. The truth came out. I don't know how that, why that's coming up, but like. The truth came out about something and it's like the way it came out it was like are you fucking serious like really like this is what we're doing okay let's see what happened here what happened here wow now we have the queen of cups who is all these people girl like who is all these people and the ten of pentacles in reverse well yep that's when we're getting into this third party and the four of wands okay well there was something here in this king of cups okay and that's so crazy now we got the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles the queen of cups the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords. This is a lot of motherfucking people. <sighs> Sometimes with these situations, these crazy situations, it'd be hard for me to really like wrap my head around what this could be. But all I know is that there's a lot of people here involved. And whatever truth came out, it caused disharmony with y'all connection. I don't know if this is connection to family. This could be like a family feud. Or this could be an energy of like... Someone letting you know that, oh, your man isn't as faithful as you think or like you think your man been still dealing with you or like ain't been dealing with me. That's a lot. Or like your man owes money about this or like or owes money over here. I don't know. Like there's something going on here where someone came through with some type of information and it caused a disruption. Someone could have also left one connection and then got married to someone else. There's a lot of leaving this to go over here or there's a lot of like. There's a lot of people trying to split this up. I don't know what they're trying to split up, but they're splitting something up. Okay, so what else? Give me one more card before we go into the karma. The Eight of Wands. This person could be at a distance. It's like fast communication, and these people can't. It's like they couldn't wait or can't wait to tell you this truth. There's a lot of like, I want to let them know what's real, but it's not even just because they want to tell you the truth. It's like, it's a little malicious, you know? So I don't know. Like, that's what's making me think there was like multiple people here involved or like, you know, like maybe a third party. I don't know if this person was messing with multiple people. There's a weird scenario here. And it's giving me family. I don't know if someone ran off with some money here. I'm getting messy family and I'm also getting a messy connection. Like a love connection, okay? But let's see. What's going on here? Oh my God, I just 
her ran off on the plug twice, so. Girl, with this eight of cups and this fool card, um, yeah, I just feel like I'm not sure what exactly happened here, but with this fool card and this eight of cups, I just, like literally, it's like the way someone left or ran off, they ran off with something. There's a lot of like unexplained, I'm not gonna explain this, or I'm just gonna take this, do this, and leave you over here, or you know what, I can't handle this no more, so I'm gonna just leave you like this. There's a weird scenario here. And it's crazy. Girl, let me see some, let me see some, let me see something. Yeah. Ran off on the plug twice. I don't know what that means for you guys, but I do feel like someone left in a certain way. Um, it was like an injustice done here, obviously, but it's almost like it has to revolve around one of those scenarios that I've already named that I can't remember because I'm channeling, um, or this might not be your message. So let's see, let's see. No matter where you fall, someone left something and they didn't really like explain. There's like a, a sense of not really getting a full explanation here. Almost like they feel like they didn't owe you an explanation or there's a lot going on around you and you know you're like, okay, like, I know this is going on, but they keep kind of like brushing it to the side. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, unexpected ending to a connection, information coming through in a, about an affair. But let's see, what's the karma? Oh, my golly. What's the karma? I had to really like shake out that energy. <laughs> what's the karma for my people? Ooh. Not the death card. Okay, so Scorpio energy coming through here. I just seen the five of cups and I seen the death card, but let's see. What's the karma? So some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. What's the karma here? Or you could be a Scorpio. Seven of cups. What's the karma here? What's the karma for their person they're asking about? Why the seven of wands? Wow, okay, if someone was uh, spreading rumors, I don't know what happened here, but there's a lot of like trying to suffocate you. So I don't know if this was like spread rumors about you. I don't know if this had to do with like stealing money from you. But for those that it has to do with like theft of money or like theft of your happiness, I see that coming back to you. It's almost like overall the karma that I'm seeing for them, they're coming up as a page. So... You know what I'm saying? It's not really a big elevation. And they're also coming up as a seven of cups. So it's a lot of indecision. So if your person thought they had like a clear escape route and that they thought they, yeah, if they thought they were going to get away with something, someone felt like they were going to get away with something without having to deal with that comeback. It's not happening. Okay. And it has something to do with the seven of cups, indecision, not being sure about themselves, a moment of cloudiness. And it's crazy because when they're going through that indecision and they're in that very indecisive state, that very cloudy state, that very like missed opportunity state, it's like you guys are going to be in this Nine of Pentacles energy. And for some of you guys, I don't know how this is resonating, so I'm going to just say it how it needs to be said and then you guys pick up what I'm putting down. But with, also with that Page of Wands, there's information coming towards you to let you know that whatever you did, it wasn't done for no reason. So I don't know if this has to do with the legal situation that you guys are battling, but I see you guys coming out on top and that's the karma. So with this Nine of Pentacles and this Page of Wands, there's like positive information coming in or like you guys winning something. I keep seeing you guys winning something. This could even be like money, getting money back, getting this person to pay child support. Um, you guys just even being successful. Um, I just heard someone coming through to tell you that this person that got their lick back. Oh my goodness, okay? Um, oh my gosh, and the way that came out, it's almost like there's someone that's gonna tell you about your person getting whatever karma or like letting them know like something didn't work out. Some of them might be on the outside looking in, so maybe kicked out of a certain house. We have the Seven of Wands here too. Whatever rumors they were spreading about you, it's almost like you guys are going to beat the case. I don't know how that's like coming through, but it's like I see you guys beating the case. Prevailing, okay? Like coming out on top, especially with the sun card. There's going to be an illumination of the truth. So whatever was being lied about, 
or whatever like they were trying to stifle you with i see people coming to your aid to kind of protect you and clear your name but i also see you guys uh, receiving a lot of abundance getting back on your feet and i see an illumination around what really happened and i see you guys being able to break free from i keep seeing you guys being attached to something i keep seeing a person in like this tag you know how they be having those flags or like the things attached to people i don't know how to explain it but it's like i keep seeing that so it's almost like there's a, a record, some record of something, and I feel like that's going to be released from you guys. I don't know how that resonates, but it's like, I know I keep saying that, my bad. But it's like, I keep seeing like something being on you guys, but it's, it's representative of the past, rumors. Um, it's like your record's going to be scrubbed clean. That's for somebody, okay? Um, so let's see. What's their karma? What's their person's karma? Give me more about the Seven of Cups. What's their karma? Whoever um, my viewers watching, the person that they're thinking about, if their person actually did something, what's their karma? What's their karma? Yeah, the Star card. What's their karma? The Six of Wheels. What's their karma? Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands. If you guys were both in a toxic connection and you guys both were bad to each other, I see the karma is you guys are going to be able to be separated from each other um, so that both of you guys can heal and start over somewhere else because it was just too toxic. It's like you both need to be released from this connection. That's the karma. It's almost like there's good karma coming in like, hey, we're going to separate you guys. Yes, it was bad, but you guys both need to go your own ways. It's time to separate. This has been stifling you. You're out of this connection. I just see a lot of, we're removing you and now we're gonna put you in a different um, position. You have everything that you need. We're giving you the tools that you need. Everything is like your, your T's are uh, crossed, eyes is dotted, now we can let you move on. You guys are gonna be able to move on. It's funny though because their karma is coming up as the Ace of Pentacles, the Star card, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. So it's making me think, did some of y'all do something? I don't know, like what's going on here? With this Ace of Pentacles, there could also be a karma of them, oh, especially with this Three of Wands. If you guys were in a connection and you know you didn't do nothing wrong, I see this person, it's almost like they're going to have to be put in a position where they have to apologize or they have to give you back something of monetary value. They're going to gift you something or there's an energy of them having, ooh, some of them have to like work hard too to get this. I don't know if they owe you money or it's like they have to give you something. So this could be Spirit telling them like, hey, like... You need to apologize to this person. Like some people get sent to um, people to apologize, give them something back because like that's the only way that they're going to be able to like really clear their name. It's something about that coming through. There's a lot of them having to like really, I keep hearing slave and labor in order to make money. So the way you make money is not going to be the same as how this person makes money. I see them having to work, hurt nine to five. So maybe they weren't working a nine to five. They're going to have to really work for the money. Um that they need in order to give you whatever this is. They're gonna have to gift you something. And I don't know why the Three of Swords is here, but like there's secrets coming out about this person. Um, I don't know if they had rumors or if they were believing rumors about you and that's why they kind of like left. Um, but something is gonna be revealed to this person. It could even be, especially if they left you about a, uh, or left you for a third party. I see secrets coming out about that third party and it's gonna have them in turmoil. Like I see them having to pay for how they made you feel in a way of them feeling just like that, if that resonates. With this star card and the six of pentacles, there's gonna be a lot of, I do see this person healing themselves, really focusing on themselves because I feel like something about y'all connection was a catalyst for each other. But the only thing about this is, what it's really coming down to, and then we're going to end the video, the karma is that after they have this realization about how good you were to them, the karma is, is that they will never be able to have you. And some people don't understand how deep that really is. You got to really think about that. When you have a revelation about how good somebody was to you and what was real and what was fake and that those people lied and that this person would have never hurt you, and you can't have them back. No sorries. No, no more. I love you. like that's the karma. They're always gonna want for you. They're always gonna look for you and other people, and they're never gonna be able to find you. They're not gonna be able to get to you. And with this six of pentacles, it's almost like that ex. <laughs> Oops. Um, I got a couple of these. It's almost like that ex that is always. Um, Y'all, I know y'all got one. Let me know down below. There's like that ex, that 
every year they come back around a certain time or this could even be like daily they're always like sending you stuff trying to reminisce trying to apologize following you unfollowing you blocking you unblocking you trying to make their presence known but you just never give them the time of day there's a lot of like you being stuck on their mind you being in their dreams now you suffocating them with your presence you're not meaning to but it's like i don't know what they did to you but it's like Spirit is not letting you go away and I feel like the karma is they're going to always want for you. They're going to always want to um, give to you, but it's like you're never going to let them in. Let me see. Messages from them. We have reveal. I want to tell you the truth. I'm telling you some truth is coming out. This could even be predicting something that's about to happen. We also have overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. I'm telling you guys, if you guys are both draining each other, I see spirit like disconnecting you guys so you guys can go separate ways. We also have responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. This could be either one of you guys. It's crazy because this deck, I just said this in my last video, this deck when I ask questions about certain things and it resonates with the energy, there was very positive cards that came out. So now that we have this coming out, this karma video, and now like the energy has kind of shifted with the cards, I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but it's just crazy that all these kind of lower energies are coming through. So something's about to be revealed. This could even be, like I said, like this could be a prediction for something that's about to happen, especially if things have kind of been boiling up. You know what I'm saying? Any last messages from my viewers? Anything at all? All right, you got some blue. Let's see. We have the Four of Swords. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Somebody needs to escape this connection because with the overwhelm card and what I've been picking up on, it might just be time to remove yourself. We also have the Knight of Swords. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. Get out while you can. I literally just heard that. And we also have the King of Wands, King of Gabriel. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. That drama, that other shit, like, it's not for you. Like, you got other things going on. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. You can love people from a distance. And there's just a need for you to, like, keep your, keep the eye on the prize, honey. And that's it. So, yes, you guys, that was your spirit. Please let me know how it resonates. And I'll see you guys in the comments down below.